inside a can of soda pop. Just before a volcano erupts, the pressure builds up and the surface of the Earth begins to bulge. Finally, the pressure becomes so powerful that it forces the gases, lava and rocks to burst through the volcano and woohoo! What an eruption! A volcano can have a lifetime of hundreds of thousands of years and it may erupt many times and in many different ways. All the rocks and lava from the eruptions build up over time to form a mountain. As my aunt Lava Inia always says, there's nothing like a raging river of molten rock. And this red hot lava is really moving. It's much hotter than boiling water and may travel for many miles before slowly cooling into solid rock. When ruddy liquid lava is pushed upwards by jets of escaping gas, the result is, you guessed it, a fantastic fiery fountain. A Hawaiian volcano usually starts an eruption by spurting a lava fountain from a central vent or a crack, called a fissure. These plumes of underwater smoke are really jets of hot water coming right out of the ocean floor. The hot water is filled with bacteria and minerals that shrimp and giant tube worms love to eat. Hot meals now being served on the ocean floor. Come and get it! <laughs> As my... Woohoo! This is where you can dare to compare. Click a button on the left of the screen to choose one of these real-life volcanoes. Then click one of the buttons on the right to explore rock and ash, lava flows, sound and fantastic features. Then click the go button and see what happens. It's time to do some daring comparing. Mount St. Helens, rock and ash. When Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980, it blasted a cloud of ash twice as high as a jet plane flies. Lava flow. In 1980, the lava that came out of Mount St. Helens was too thick to flow down the mountain, so it formed a lava dome. Since then, my how this dome has grown. Sound. It's amazing how Mount St. Helens made a huge blast in 1980, but no one nearby heard a thing. The sound was trapped inside the thick ash and then shot up and away to distant places where people heard a loud boom. Fantastic features. The 1980 blast of Mount St. Helens was so powerful that it blew down enough trees to build 300,000 houses. Mauna Loa, rock and ash. Hawaiian volcanoes like Mauna Loa don't explode into huge clouds of ash, but they do shoot up lovely fountains of lava. Then droplets of volcanic glass, called Pele's tears, are cooled by the wind and carried away. Lava flow. In 1950, an eruption of Mauna Loa lasted only 23 days, but it made as much lava as another Hawaiian volcano called Kilauea can in four years. Some lava flows traveled 15 miles to the sea in less than three hours. When an eruption takes place at Mauna Loa, things happen quickly. Sound. Compared to highly explosive volcanoes, a shield volcano like Mauna Loa is quiet as a mouse. Fantastic feature. If the height of Mauna Loa were measured from its base on the ocean floor, this Hawaiian volcano would be the tallest mountain on Earth, higher than Mount Everest. I'm so Feldfell, rock and... In 1973, strong winds blew hot rocks and ash, called tephra, from the eruption of the Eldfell volcano in Iceland and buried homes in a nearby town. Lava flow, lava flow. The Eldfell volcano created a spectacular curtain of fire in 1973. This fountain of fiery lava erupted from a fissure that crossed the entire island. Sound. Some volcanoes blast with sound. Others are quiet when they're around. 
but Elm fell in 1973, hissed and steamed dramatically. Fantastic features. In 1973, when the Eldfell volcano erupted, some heroic villagers in Iceland tried something very unusual. For seven months, they sprayed seawater on the advancing lava, slowing it down and saving their fishing port. Krakatoa, rock and ash. In 1883, an Indonesian volcano, Krakatoa, erupted with such force that the wind spread volcanic ash all over the world. Hundreds of miles away, day turned into night and people had to turn on the lights. Lava flow. When Krakatoa erupted in 1883, there was no lava flow. Instead, there was one bombastic blast. That's what happens when pressure builds up under a lava plug inside the central vent sound. The eruption of Krakatoa in 1883 made one of the loudest noises in history. If Krakatoa had been in California, people all the way to New York would have heard it. Fantastic feature. When Krakatoa blew up in 1883, two-thirds of the island was swallowed by the sea. Pahoy hoy is what this smooth, wavy lava is called. Pahoy hoy forms when the outer crust of the lava flow cools, while the hot lava underneath keeps moving and makes the crust bubble and wrinkle. <laughs> when a uh a -uh lava hardens, it forms a rough, spiky surface. No wonder a uh a -uh means ouch in Hawaiian. It may be tough on our tootsies, but the cracks between the spikes are the perfect place for new plants to grow. When an underwater volcano erupts, the lava makes mounds like these called pillow lava. It may seem soft and fluffy, but this is solid hard rock. Limu o Pele is Hawaiian for seaweed of Pele. These thin sheets of volcanic glass are created when lava pours into the ocean and traps bubbles of steam. These solid drops of volcanic glass are called Pele's tears after the Hawaiian goddess of fire. Pele's tears are formed when hot lava is ejected from a volcano and carried away by the wind. The lava cools as it travels through the air to form these tiny teardrop-shaped bits of volcanic glass. Pumice is formed by very gassy lava shooting out of a volcano. As the lava flies through the air, it cools and traps some of the gas. Pumice is so full of bubbles and so lightweight that it floats. This may look like chunks of dark glass, but it's actually obsidian, a natural volcanic glass that's formed when hot lava cools very quickly. Pahoy hoy. Here we are at the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro, the largest volcano in Africa. Its name means Shining Mountain in Swahili. Here we are. You may think this is a holiday celebration, but these fireworks are really a spectacular eruption of Mount Etna in Italy. Many of the world's volcanoes are at the edge of the Pacific Ocean. They form a circle of active volcanoes called the Ring of Fire. When Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines erupted after sleeping for 500 years, it wasn't a total surprise. Scientists knew something was up because of all the gas escaping from the volcano and all the earthquakes happening beneath it. Beautiful Mount Fuji is a familiar face in Japan. It's a composite volcano, which means it's made out of alternating layers of solid rock and ash. You're looking at the largest active volcano on Earth, Mauna Loa in Hawaii. Mauna Loa is a good example of a shield volcano, which builds up slowly as lava oozes out and flows down the side of the volcano. Did you know there are chimneys, known as black smokers, under the ocean? The hot water spouting from these chimneys mixes with cold water from the ocean, releasing tiny particles that make the water look black. Cotopaxi is one of Ecuador's
Ecuador's most well-known active volcanoes. Located high in the Andes Mountains, it's also one of the tallest volcanoes in the world. Over the years, this cinder cone keeps growing. It shoots out cinders and other tephra that pile up in layers around the volcano's opening. You could say it's prone to be a cone. In 1980, Mount St. Helens erupted in the state of Washington, creating a huge column of ash. The eruption knocked over millions of trees and created mud flows that streamed down the mountain as fast as a car. That's one vigorous volcano. The newest island on Earth is Surtsey, off the coast of Iceland. For two years, a volcano poured out red-hot lava just above the water until Surtsey Island was formed. Surtsey, take a curtsy. Are you ready to quit? Yes. See you back on the bus another time.